This is a 24-hour combat ration of the Armed Forces of Chile. Now weighing in at 3 pounds, 10 ounces, and containing approximately 2,800 calories, this 100% ready-to-eat ration consists mainly of retort pouches. It has a two-year shelf life, and this one was produced in early 2017. It expires in 2019. So let's give it a look. All right, so right off the bat here, we have Damascus fruit and syrup. That's apricots in syrup. And then we have, these are plums in syrup. Nice, two fruits so far. Hey, look at this. It's a uh, spork and spoon combination. That has to be the nicest spoon I've probably ever seen in a ration. Probably even better than the Australian Sear 1M. We'll see how it performs. And then some flameless ration heaters. You get two of them. Looks good. And then peanuts and raisins. And these are some oat biscuits with berries. And um, some bean stew. Look at this, an accessory packet, which looks to have coffee, tea, sugar, sweetener, two little spoons, and some toilet paper, napkins. Some pasta and bolognese sauce. Granola cereal. Nice vacuum seal to that. And then chicken stew with vegetables. And pork and rice curry. And that's it. And now for the accessory packet. Get a nice little portion of napkins. Two Nescafe instant coffees. Two small stirring spoons one English breakfast tea, seven packets of sugar, three packets of salt, and six packets of sweetener. Not bad. Let's first start off with breakfast. All right, and for breakfast, we're gonna be having some apricots and syrup, granola cereal, and some instant coffee to go along with those oat biscuits with berries. All right, so let's get this out onto a tray. Nice, okay, so let's first start off with that coffee. Okay, granola with cereal, nice hit. I gotta go for this right away, look at that. There's some really dry looking raisins and granola. Oh wow. There's malt in that. Those little brown bits, like this, that's malt. That right there is fantastic. It is so easy to eat. Cluster of raisins, they're all stuck together. Yeah, like the raisins are really sweet and kind of dry, but they're very flavorful. The malt really adds a nice dynamic of flavor. Tastes like it's sprayed with honey. That is delicious. Perfect start to the day. So now, the apricots and syrup. Look at those. That smells amazing. It smells like honey, brown sugar, and like some really sweet, rich, ripe apricots. I'm gonna put this on a dish. Look at that. And the oat biscuits with berries. 
Nice hit. Get a couple of them with this meal. That berry smells so strong, it almost smells artificial. Look at these things. They're pretty robust. Not bad. That coffee, even in a nice six ounce portion, is still strong. If you mixed it with two ounces, it would taste just like espresso. So now the biscuits. Mm. That has a strong berry flavor, like a berry concentrate. That is amazing. Perfect for dunking, I'm sure. We'll see. Oh yeah. The biscuit has a little bit of cinnamon. Tastes like it almost has some nutmeg in it. Has a nice complex range of flavors. One lone dry berry in there. Not sure what kind. I think it might be cranberry. Very filling. Easy to eat for breakfast. Let's check out the apricots. They smell incredible. This here. Look at that. Daff. Cool name. These are in a heavy syrup, you can tell. Let's get one whole one here. That's amazing. A velvety outer texture, a nice moderate to firm chew. It's so incredibly sweet. That's definitely brown sugar in there. Mm. These taste a couple steps up from canned or jarred apricots. This is phenomenal. These are the best apricots I've ever had. Even better than fresh ones. I mean, this here, you know, this probably has a fair amount of calories in it. It's just so sweet. Mostly sugar. Good amount of fiber. I can't stop eating this. I know what to do with that last little bit of syrup. I'm going to take some of this and drop it in there. Seems crazy, but I think it's the way to go. I mean, this here is so dry. I probably should have saved more of that syrup. It would have made for an even better kind of cereal. That absorbs every bit of that. That's incredible. The malt with that brown sugar in the syrup. This is a match made in heaven right here. Truly amazing. Mm. That's literally like a cereal. And instead of using milk, using that heavy syrup. Great combination. Real nice change up from your average bowl of cereal. That was perfect. That coffee tastes like a nice dark roast, like an Italian roast. It's bold, has a light acidity and no bitterness. I'm sure that sugar cut any sort of potential bitterness that it would have had. This is some of my favorite granola. That malt really does it. I love that flavor. Yeah, you know, if this granola didn't have the malt and light amount of honey sprayed on it, it'd be somewhat bland. So definitely a good move on their part for adding some extra flavor. Love this spoon fork combination. Nifty. If I ever get this ration again, which I really hope I do, got this one from MRE Mountain. Huge thanks to MRE Mountain for hooking me up with this thing. Got a great deal on it. Definitely check out his shop. He's got quite the variety of international rations and U.S. But if I ever get this thing again, I'm going to take the whole pack of granola and mix it with the apricots and syrup. Perfect combination. Now this biscuit thing is dense. It smells strong of some sort of mixed berry like raspberry, blueberry, and cranberry is what it smells like. Super filling. You know this thing so dense. A little bit dry but you know the, uh, the vacuum seal and its low moisture content. This is probably the component that would last the longest in this ration. Two year shelf life but I can imagine it could last double that. Wow, there's a sunflower seed in there. Now that was quite the breakfast. Very filling. I can see that holding me for at least four hours till I come back with lunch. All right, and we're back with lunch here. Going to be starting off with that bean stew, peanuts and raisins, pasta and a bolognese sauce, and some tea. All right, so let's get this out onto a tray. Nice, okay, so let's first start off with that tea. That's a really basic, subtle English breakfast tea kind of smell. 
lightly floral, really not much else to it. So now we're gonna start with that FRH. Put both of these main courses in there. This thing looks like it has just enough space to fit both of them. It looks like a quality heating element. I have a feeling this thing is gonna work like a charm, but we'll see. Yeah, it barely fits. So now you put this in the center. And while that's doing its thing, you can check out the peanuts and raisins. Nice little hiss. Well, those all stuck together. There we go. Well, they're still pretty stuck together. Nice hefty portion of peanuts and raisins. Such a nice fresh smell to it. It was made just earlier this year. Listen to that. So that thing will probably take 12 to 15 minutes to fully heat up. This is about 50-50 ratio raisins to peanuts. Look at that. Hmm. The peanuts are unsalted. Those raisins are so rich in flavor, it's so sweet. I can imagine this being very filling. Pretty calorie dense too. The way it all sticks together, nice raisin peanut clusters. Those peanuts perfectly roasted. They have such a bold peanut flavor. They're not bland at all. Even though they're unsalted, if you were wanting some menu variation, you could have taken breakfast um, granola and mixed it with this because that only had a few raisins. Wow, look at that nice cluster right there. It's like candy. So I'm going to let this heat up and come back in about 10 minutes. All right, that should do it right there. This thing, oh wow, that's, that's like super hot really heated through God, that's an incredible frh i think because there's hardly any space between the two retort pouches it really is concentrated yeah these things are some of the hottest meals coming out of an frh i've ever felt they're like difficult to handle. They seem like they were boiled for like 10 minutes. It really feels like it. So for the pasta and bolognese sauce. Oh, that smells fantastic. It has a nice tomato sauce. Smell onion. Not sure what else. Look at that quite a bit of oil in it and the bean stew but well, that has pasta as well same kind a lot of liquid I forgot to take this tea bag out this will be nice and strong Let's try that first oh yeah strong tea but still because it's English breakfast, it's really difficult to make that too bitter. It's still, even if you steep it for a long time, the tannins don't build up to the point where it's unbearable. So check out that pasta and bolognese sauce. Not sure what meat that is. It looks like it might be beef, little beef chunks. And then the bean stew, pretty watery. It almost looks like a soup. Let me try out the bean stew first. Get a little everything there. Hmm. Wow, I taste pumpkin. The pasta, it's very soft. That pasta just melts in your mouth. Same with the beans. Not overcooked like the pasta. It still 
has a little more body to it, but such a prevalent flavor of pumpkin. Onion, a little bit of paprika, just a tad. And I think that's it. A little salt. Very simple. The, the pumpkin, though, that's the most interesting part of the flavors. Very mild. Very easy to eat. Check this out. Same kind of pasta. Not quite as soft, though. In the bean stew, it's almost mushy. Let's get a piece with the meat. I can't tell what that is. It looks like beef. And it is. Tastes like ground beef and a very oily tomato sauce with a hint of oregano. You know, this is much better than that. I like the pumpkin. Really adds an exotic flair to it. But this here, the carrots. I can taste the carrots in this one. The carrots in the other one, can't taste them. This tomato sauce really adds something to it. It's almost like a spaghetti sauce, but just more oily, which I like that. It, it bolsters the calorie content with good fats. This is sunflower oil and not the best oil. You know, olive oil is a little better, but still not high in saturated fat. And it just has a nice flavor to it. Mm. I could eat this so fast. This is fantastic. This bean stew, I think the, the pumpkin really does help it. The noodles are so soft. Both of these could use just a little bit of salt. Let's see how that works for it. Oh yeah, definitely helps the bean stew. A little salt goes a long way. And, you know, this thing might be a little low in calories overall, but it makes up for it in being simple and lightweight. You wouldn't have to take a lot of time in your day to prepare and eat this ration. Good quality. That definitely did the trick. So let's take it over to dinner. All right, and for dinner, we're gonna be starting off with that curried pork with rice, chicken stew with vegetables, prunes and syrup, and some coffee. All right, so let's get this out onto a tray. Nice, in okay, case. So let's first start off with that coffee. And it just add about two ounces, so it'll be like espresso. Okay, so now let's um, start up this FRH. This has to be one of the best performing flameless ration heaters for it in terms of evenly heating up the main courses, it's exceptional. It doesn't leave a lot of space in the bag, and I think that's part of its efficient nature because there's, there's really no space for that heat to go. It just gets trapped in the bag. It's difficult to insert these pouches, the retort pouches, but that's really the only downside. All right, so while that's heating up, let's check out the prunes and syrup. Actually, I gotta try this coffee while it's still nice and hot. Oh yeah, it's like sweet espresso. That is definitely the way to do it. Perfect little pick-me-up. That has the exceptional flavor and boldness. Nescafe does it right. There we go. nice initial burst of heat and then it really calms down. There's plenty of fruit in this ration. Prunes, raisins, apricots. Oh, look at that. That smells so incredibly rich. Check that out. Kind of smells like a molasses brown sugar kind of deal. Very strong fruit smell. It's got a little dangler. There we go. Nice. So let's check out these prunes. 
give you a nice hefty portion. Mmm, wow. These are amazing. That thick, heavy syrup. There's so much sugar in this. And when you got a real sweet tooth, something like this. I mean, look at that. It's almost like jelly. You know, some sort of jam or something. Tastes like some really huge raisins. Very moist, massive raisins. Suspended in a syrup that tastes like a cross between brown sugar with extra molasses and honey. And it's just amazing. Again, so exceptionally sweet and easy to eat. Giving you the fiber and roughage that you really need. Between this, that oatmeal, the apricots, those raisins. Definitely will ensure that, um, well, you won't have any problems later. That's for sure. Having dessert first. And it's essential. Again, that fiber, you need that. Especially with rations that are filled with preservatives and whatnot. Back to this coffee. Boy, the combination of this and that. Definitely have, um, well, yeah, this is perfect. That's the way to do it. 10 grams of sugar in about two ounces, maybe tops three ounces of coffee there. So I'm gonna let this heat up, it takes about 12 minutes. All right, so these main courses should be heated up. Nice and hot. Okay, so then the curried pork and rice. It smells like a nice strong curry. This looks like the real star of the meal here. It smells phenomenal. Looking good. So then, the chicken and vegetable stew. Wow, that's really watery. Kind of like that bean stew. Looks pretty standard. So the pork and rice curry. Kind of mix that up. Oh yeah, that looks great. I haven't even really used the fork. The fork's not very necessary, you know? I mean, there's not much to skewer. Well, there we go. Made use of the fork. Part of that flew off, so... Well, yeah, we'll, we'll just stick with the spoon part. Pork and rice curry. Oh, yeah. Definitely the best of these mains. Well, I haven't tried the chicken stew yet. Mm. This has the perfect balance of just like a nice tomato sauce. Those potatoes are nice and soft. Again, sunflower oil gives a nice smooth texture and consistency. Some carrots and peas. Hint of lemon juice. And taste that. Cumin, turmeric, like a curry pepper. It's a little bit spicy. This is phenomenal. Definitely the best part of the meal so far. So this looks like a soup. It really does. There's rice, peas, corn. Where's the chicken? Well, this by here it doesn't have chicken, but we're going to try it anyway. Okay, so this is the most underwhelming dish out of the four. It's very thin, and I can't imagine it being very high calorie. In terms of palatable, the curry, the pasta with bolognese, then the bean stew, and then this chicken stew. Yeah, this is kind of crazy. I mean, where's the chicken at? Oh wait, there's the chicken hiding under there. Hmm, great piece of chicken. Wow, a nice, tender, chewy piece of chicken. But there's not much of it. It's so soupy. Like, look at that. It's mostly water. That's definitely the main ingredient. A nice chicken broth, a little bit of garlic, onion, and oregano. And here's the other piece of chicken. Not the most spectacular thing in the world, I'll say that. But if you're hungry, you're going to enjoy every bit of it. I'm going back to this. Really kind of spoils you. Because, um, yeah, the chicken stew, it's like you need bread or something to go along with that. But this here, it's fantastic. Nice, perfectly soft, yet not mushy potatoes. That's good stuff. This, the chicken stew, needs salt. Boy, those salt packets, it's almost like they're pretty much empty. That's weird. I noticed the last one like that, like almost like, kind of like it had a leak. It was, it was only like one eighth filled. This is essentially espresso right here. And it's so good. I take small sips. It's perfect. And that's the way to do it. If you get those Nescafe instant coffees, mix it with like two ounces of water. Oh, that salt really does rescue this. 
actually now it's very good. It really brings out the savory nature of the uh, garlic and onion. Salt works wonders for simple seasonings. And there were like maybe two and a half chunks of chicken. I mean, when they call it chicken stew, it's more like chicken soup. Go back to that curry. That's funny. Go back to that and there's just so much more flavor. That's good to the last bite. So the prunes and syrup, they're definitely giving you your fiber in this ration, that's for sure. You have to eat it. It's so good, you can't pass something like this up. My favorite parts of this ration, the pork and rice curry, the prunes, the apricots, the oat berry biscuits, that granola, and then the coffee. Those are the best parts. It's here, the syrup is phenomenal. Good to the last bite. So that was a 24-hour combat ration of the Armed Forces of Chile. Huge thanks again to MRE Mountain for hooking me up with this ration. Check out his shop. Again, he's got a fantastic variety of rations. Folks ask me, where do you get international rations? And this is the guy. He's exceptional. Definitely check him out. So this was an awesome, filling ration. Definitely a great experience. Well, anyway, this is Steve1989 off MRE Info. Hope you liked the video. And I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. Alright, cool. See ya.